Unit 2 Addition and Subtraction Addition Addition with Regrouping Sometimes when we add, we need to regroup. Ten hundreds to one thousand. Twelve hundreds is equal to one thousand two hundred. Let us add numbers five thousand four hundred and eighty six and three thousand nine hundred and two. Five thousand four hundred and eighty six plus three thousand nine hundred and two is equal to how much? Step one Add the ones. Six plus two is equal to eight ones. Step two Add the tens. Eight plus zero is equal to eight tens. Step three Add the hundreds and regroup. 4 plus 9 is equal to 1300 is equal to 1300. Step 4. Add the thousands. 5 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 9000. Answer. The sum of 5486 and 3902 is equal to 9388. Teacher's tip. Get the pupils to practice more and more sums on addition and subtraction. A. An airline took 24,618 people in one month. And 28,835 people in the following month. How many people flew in both the months? Step 1. Add the ones and regroup. 8 plus 5 is, e is equal to 13 ones. Is equal to 110, 3 ones. Step 2. Add the tens. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5 tens. Step 3. Add the hundreds and regroup. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 hundreds. Is equal to 1,400. Step 4. Add the thousands and regroup. 4 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 13 thousands is equal to one ten thousand and three thousand. Step 5. Add the ten thousands. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to five ten thousand. Answer. The airline flew 53,453 people in both the months. Estimating the sum. A quick way to estimate the sum of numbers is to round off each number to the nearest tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. And then add the numbers rounded off. Estimate the sum of 3842 and 4978 by rounding the numbers to the nearest hundreds. 3842 is rounded off to 3800 and 4978 is rounded off to 5000. The estimated sum of 3842 and 4978 is equal to 3800 plus 5000 is equal to 8,800 Subtraction Let us subtract 1,489 from 3,645 3,645 minus 1,489 is equal to how much? 
Step 1. Subtract the 1s. Step 2. Subtract the 10s. Step 3. Subtract the 100s. Step 4. Subtract the 1000s. Answer 2156. Check your answer by adding the difference and the smaller number. Answer 3645 minus 1489 is equal to 2156. A man bought a television set cost rupees 28,950. For rupees 23,780 during a sale. How much money did he save? 28,950 minus 23,780 is equal to how much? 28,950 minus 23,780 is equal to 5,170. Answer. He saved rupees 5,170. Subtracting from numbers with zeros. Sometimes when we subtract, we don't have enough ones, tens, or hundreds. Then we need to regroup tens, hundreds, or thousands. Let us subtract 2395 from 4000. 4000 minus 2395 is equal to how much? Step 1. Regroup thousands. Step 2. Regroup hundreds. Step 3. Regroup tens. Step 4. Subtract. Answer. 4000 minus 2395 is equal to 1605. The shortcut. A shortcut to solve such problems is subtract 1 from both numbers and then subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Estimating the difference. The rules for estimating the difference are the same as those given for estimating the sum of numbers. A. Estimate the difference of 8,394 and 5,137, the nearest hundred. 8,394 is rounded up to 8,400 and 5,137 is rounded down to 5,100. 8,400 Minus 5100 is equal to 3300. The estimate difference of 8394 and 5137 is 3300. Addition and subtraction together. Making addition and subtraction easier using compensation. Look at the two additions. A. 48 plus 22 is equal to 70. B. 50 plus 20 is equal to 70. The second sum is easier to do. Numbers which have zeros at the end are easier to add. If the given numbers do not end in zeros, we can make them by adding or subtracting a small number. We know that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 1 minus 1. 
This means while adding two numbers, adding and subtracting the same number does not change the sum. Now, to make the large numbers easier to add. 1. Write the addends and try to change any one of them into a number which ends in a zero. 2. To do this we need to add, subtract a number from any one number. 3. If we add to make the number end in zeros, then subtract the same number from the other number. We do this so that the first sum does not get affected. Example Add 341 and 286 Solution 341 plus 286 is equal to 627. Subtract 1. Add 1. 340 plus 287 is equal to 627. Generally, the number we use in compensation is 5 or less than 5. In subtraction, when we use compensation, we increase both numbers or decrease both numbers by the same number. Here, we generally try to make the number to be subtracted end in a zero. Example, subtract 305 from 519. Solution, 519 minus 305 is equal to 214. Subtract 5. Subtract 5. 514 minus 300 is equal to 214.